So I, I'm like way too excited for this week's Word of Thanks microgiving campaign. And I think it's because my parents both taught in the rural school district where I grew up, and I knew how much they wished that they could afford to give their students the things that a lot of larger and wealthier school districts did. This week's Word of Thanks microgiving campaign supports the nonprofit Nathan Yip Foundation's work, where they give grants to teachers and schools to help out rural classrooms. So in the past, the nonprofit has funded a playground for the Cuyagat School on the Ute Mountain Ute Reservation. They funded an auto mechanic program in Peyton, down southeast of Parker. They bought musical instruments for a school in Byers and, and drones for the high school science classes to use out in Eads. Right now, the nonprofit is collecting new application from rural teachers. And here are some of the ideas that have come in that I'm hoping that we might be able to fund together. There's a teacher who wrote in from Bennett who wants to start a wildfire science program to teach environmental science and also they'd be able to certify their seniors as entry level firefighters as a potential career. There's an art teacher in the tiny town of Joe's out east who wants to replace an old ceramics kiln so they can continue what that teacher says is her student's favorite part of class. There's a teacher who wants to purchase virtual reality headsets so the kids in her rural area of Colorado can explore the work environments and careers that just don't exist in their corner of the state. Scan the QR code on your screen or text the word thanks to 303-871-1491 and I'll send you that link to donate. As always, I'll match the first 50 people willing to chip in five bucks. If rural school districts could pay for these things, they would. If the teachers could afford them out of their own pocket, they would, trust me. Together though, we can make a bunch of these projects happen.